Welcome once again to Monday Manna, February 4th, 2019. Today, three ways you can make a difference. Well, thank you for joining me again today for Monday Manna. I'm excited today about what I have to talk to you about. We're in the book of Jude. Now, if you're not familiar with your Bible, the last book in the Bible is Revelations. You simply back up just a little bit, and there's the book of Jude. A very short book. There's a lot to talk about in Jude, and I can't take but about five or six minutes here to say what I need to say, but there's a lot to talk about in Jude. But today I'm going to tell you how you can make a difference in someone's life. Now, it doesn't matter who you are. If this person doesn't want you to make a difference in their life, it doesn't matter if I have three ways to make a difference in someone's life or 300 ways to make a difference in someone's life. A person has to be receptive. A person has to want to do better. A person has to want to know about Jesus Christ. A person has to want to know that they're lost and on their way to hell. But if you find a person out there and you plant that seed, all you can do as a Christian is plant the seed. It's up to them to do the rest of the work. You can't make them accept Jesus Christ. You can't save them, but you can plant the seeds. So today, I would like to tell you three ways that you can make a difference in someone's life. We're in the book of Jude. We're going to be looking at verse 22 in the book of Jude, verse 22. Once again, I'm in the Wayfinding Bible. I love this Bible so very much. We're in the Wayfinding Bible in the book of Jude, verse 22. And you must show mercy to those whose faith is wavering. Rescue others by snatching them from the flames of judgment. Show mercy to still others, but do so with great caution, hating the sins that contaminate their lives. This verse is a very important verse of Scripture. This verse contains three ways that you can make a difference in someone's life. Let's look at verse 22 again. First, it says you must show mercy to those whose faith is wavering or to those who are lost. Mercy and compassion. Let's talk about compassion. All three of these ways today, all three ways to make a difference in someone's life starts with the letter C. Let's talk about compassion. We don't see a lot of compassion in the world anymore. Everybody cares about themselves. They don't seem to care about anybody else. Are you compassionate about those that are around you? Are you compassionate about those that you realize are lost and they need the Lord Jesus Christ? Or are you just worrying about your own self and how to get along and, and get through life's complications all by yourself and, and you don't care about anybody else? Folks, we need compassion. Nobody cares about anybody anymore. Loving, merciful heart, a compassionate heart. We need to be concerned about someone that's lost and without Jesus Christ. We need to be compassionate. We need to show mercy on them. We may not understand what they're doing. We may not understand why they act like they act. They're not like you and I. I'm different than you. You are different than me. God made us all individuals. So we need to show compassion understanding, mercy. Number one way to make a difference in someone's life today, number one, show compassion. Let's look again at verse 22. Show mercy to those who are waving. Rescue others by snatching them from the flames of judgment or from the flames of hell. Not only do we need to show compassion today, we need to show compulsion. Compulsion, emergency and spontaneous action at any cost. Emergency action, spontaneous action at any cost. Let me tell you what compulsion is today. Snatching them from the flames of fire, snatching them from the flames of judgment, snatching them from the flames of hell. Let me tell you what compulsion is. Now I'm a 65 year old man, I can't move very fast. I move a little fast in the morning, and as the day goes on, I get slower and slower. But if one of my grandkids were about to run out in the street chasing a ball, and I'm 100 yards away, and I see a car coming, I guarantee you 
I'll get there to them before the car does. That is called compulsion. Just suppose my grandkids are in a burning home. The house is on fire, and I drive up, and there they are. And the fireman says, we've done all we can do. There's still some little kids in there, and they're my grandkids. I promise you, I'm going in that house to do my best that I can to rescue my grandkids. I don't care how high the flames are. Folks, it's the same difference. When folks are dying and going to hell, we have to have compassion, compassion, and we have to have compulsion. An extra drive, that extra adrenaline that gets us going and makes us want to win the loss no matter what. Spontaneous energy to win somebody and to rescue somebody from the flames of hell. Caution, compulsion. The last C today starts is the word caution. Compassion, compulsion, caution. Why do you need caution when you're trying to rescue somebody and win somebody to Jesus Christ? It says, do so with great caution, hating the sins that contaminate their lives or contaminate their garments. Folks, if you're not a strong Christian, if you're not strong in your faith, just suppose this person is an alcoholic. Just suppose this person is a drug addict. Just suppose you used to be an alcoholic, and just suppose you used to be on drugs. You need to be very, very careful and make sure you are very strong in your faith. Use caution, because at the same time you're trying to rescue them, if you're not strong enough, you could get drawn right back into the same sin that you used to participate in. Be very cautious. Make sure your faith is strong. Folks, have compassion today. Have a tender heart. Show mercy on those that are lost. Whether you understand why they act the way they act or not, they're different than you. Folks, show compulsion, that extra drive, that extra impulse, something that will make you rescue them at any cost. Just pretend or suppose that that person you're trying to save is your wife or your kids, and you're trying to rescue them from burning flames. What extremes would you go to? Those are the same extremes that we should go to with compulsion when we're trying to rescue somebody from the flames of eternal judgment. And have caution today. Compassion, compulsion, caution. Be very careful. Be strong in your faith. Make sure you don't, don't get drugged down into the same sin that you used to be involved in. Folks, three ways you can make an, a difference in someone's life today. Compassion, compulsion, and caution. Thank you once again for joining me for Monday Manor. I'll see you again next week.